Scikit-learn tip number 38. Need to get the feature names output by a column transformer? Use get feature names, which now works with pass-through columns, which is new in version 0.23. So let's take a look at the example. Now, column transformer, which is what we're talking about, allows you to apply different transformations to different columns. So in this case, we've got four features. We're going to one-hot encode two of them and pass through the remainder, which is the other two columns. Now, pass through means just include them in the output unmodified. Now we do the fit transform, and that method does the transformation. It outputs seven columns, and the obvious question is, what are the identities of those seven columns? And what we do to find that out is use the get feature names method of the column transformer. It shows five features output by one hot encoder. The first three came from the first feature, which was embarked, and we can see that the categories in embarked were C, Q, and S. And then the other two one hot encoded features came from the second feature we passed in, which was sex, and the categories that get output are female and male. The final two features out of the seven were parch and fair, which were the columns that were passed through. So now we know the identities of the seven columns. Now, previous to point two three, git feature names did not work with pass through columns, so it's nice that it now does. There are still some limitations to git feature names, namely that it doesn't work with pipelines that are within a column transformer. The core developers of Scikit-Learn are actively working through some different solutions to make it easier to retrieve feature names across all different scenarios, but it's actually a big technical challenge, so it might be a little while before that is available.